Hello all, good morning. Welcome to Automation Tidbits. I'm Feroz. Today, uh, today's topic is uh, Eclipse Marketplace is not opening in Eclipse Photon. So recent days, uh, since 2018 October, so sometimes we we are facing a problem where uh, if we download Eclipse Photon as an IDE, uh, then Eclipse Marketplace is not opening. So for example, if you go to Eclipse uh, Workspace, uh, click on Help, and then if you click on Eclipse Marketplace, sometimes we might get the following error. So if you see this error, Eclipse cannot open, uh, sorry, cannot open Eclipse Marketplace, cannot install remote marketplace locations, connection fail. So this kind of issues might come. Uh, and uh, there is a fix given by the Eclipse uh, team for about this. So let me tell you a brief about what exactly is a Eclipse Marketplace. So Eclipse Marketplace is nothing but it's a rich client solution for installing solutions listed on Eclipse Marketplace directly from the Eclipse. So, so Eclipse community has uh, hundreds and thousands of uh, third-party plugins which uh, the users can add into their Eclipse. So Eclipse Foundation operates a website called Eclipse Marketplace through which a list of Eclipse-based solutions are provided. And Eclipse Marketplace provides a tight inter install uh, integration between the Eclipse Marketplace and the Eclipse Workspace, plus any other third-party solution listings. So, so whenever we want any kind of uh, uh, plugin to be installed, uh, which has to integrate with Eclipse. So, for example, if you want to integrate a uh, test ng, or if you want to integrate any kind of Cucumber with respect to Selenium automation or any other automation, so then we, we normally go to Eclipse Help, uh, Eclipse Marketplace, and try to install from there. Sometimes in the recent days, uh, we always had uh, some problem uh, opening Eclipse Marketplace. For that, we have a solution. We can we can have a solution. So what we have to do is that to mitigate this problem, click on Help, click on Install New Software. And uh, there is a fix given by uh, the Eclipse team. Copy this URL. And uh, type the URL over here. Let me pause it maybe. So type the, the type this particular URL over here and hit enter button. And you will find an Eclipse Marketplace plugin somewhere here. Select this Eclipse Marketplace, expand this and see here is Eclipse Marketplace. And then click on next. So it will calculate the requirements and dependencies, how much time it will take and all. So if you see here, after clicking on next button, uh, there are some details present over here saying that uh, your original request has been modified. Marketplace is already installed, so an update will be performed instead. So select this marketplace client, click on next button. Uh, click on accept terms and uh, click on finish button and the Eclipse marketplace will be associated with uh, the Eclipse workspace.
So the next step will be so it will be asking me would you like to restart the Eclipse ID to apply the changes. So we are going to click on restart now. So until and unless we restart this particular Eclipse ID, the changes will not be affected. So I'm clicking on restart now. So it close and uh, save the workspace, open the Eclipse ID. So if you see here, Eclipse ID is opening here. Eclipse put on version of ID. So now Eclipse ID is uh, open now. Click on close, close, close the window of welcome and uh, go to help and uh, click on Eclipse Marketplace here you will be taken to the Eclipse Marketplace window and uh, by default it will search for a few plugins so see here Warden plugin for Eclipse Code Mix CI there are lot of plugins so I can say simply test ng which I want to uh, search and uh, click on this and if you see test ng for Eclipse is available over here and if you click on install it will get installed and associated with get associated with Eclipse ID thank you for watching